Okay, now the camera has been removed to the uh, in front of the inverter. So we can see uh, this inverter panel, there's LCD, two LED, and two buttons. Uh, the LCD, as we just uh, introduced, the, it will show the running information, the power, the records, and the system setting. Uh, of course, uh, uh, we will also uh, tell you uh, the, the two LEDs, uh, the functions. The, the green one, the green one is uh, now is shining, which means uh, the inverter is, P, the PV power is on, but the inverter is not working at normal status. If, if it's always on, which means the inverter is in grid tight status, but now it's freaker, which means the PV power is normal, uh, and the red one is the uh, alarm indicator. When the alarm light is on, which means the inverter is forward, because now the inverter is not connected to the grid power, so uh, inverter is not working. And uh, the S ESC uh, button. The ESC button, uh, there is two kinds of function. Firstly, is shut press if you shut press, which means you can move the uh, cursor upward or decrease or increase the setting value. Uh, the long press, if you long press, which means you can back to previous uh, menu or you can cancel the command. And then the last one is the enter button. The enter button, if you shut press, which means you can move the cursor downward or decrease the setting value. If you long press, uh, you can enter the sub menu, or you can, or you can confirm the uh, current command. All right, so uh, let's do some extra setting uh, of the. For example, we firstly go to the grid standard setting. We press enter, and we go to system set and we enter to the user uh, password. The password will be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. And we can go to the grid standard. Okay, non press enter. And we go to the grid standard and now we can see the standard is in the standard so now press enter which means the inverter now is grid standard inverter in the standard inverter so we back to the home page and the next one is uh, the grid voltage uh, range setting firstly we should go to the systems uh, set and then we should go to the engineer set all right we should go to the voltage setting here we, uh, we check the over voltage protection uh, setting and non press enter now the over voltage protection setting is 110 percent so let's try to make it 115 percent non press enter succeed uh, of course uh, over voltage you should have a recovery setting over voltage recovery setting now is 110 percent when you do this a uh, great voltage uh, range setting you should firstly make sure that the protection setting range should be wider than the recovery setting range if not cannot be set successfully and of course you can also set the uh, uh, low voltage recovery and low voltage protection and the third one is we, we want to uh, tell you the setting is about the S port control power, power S port control. Um, firstly, we should go to the 
system set again we should enter the password zero 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 one 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 and then we should go to the IO switch non press let's enter and we go to the counter current non press which enable the counter current non press beside that we also need to uh, set the counter current percentage so we should go to engineering set non press and then we go to the counter current enter now the counter current is 30 percent 30 percent which means uh, it's 1.5 kilowatt power to export to the grid because this inverter is 5 kilowatt all right so today's setting is all above after that uh, we will Let's go to another topic.